Welcome back to MacBrew. I'm your host, Max Patterson. Today, we're going to be taking a look at all the essential transitions for Final Cut Pro. We're going to be using these transitions from ProductionCrate.com. So let's head over there right now. So they have a really nice selection in their motion graphics section. Um, and these are all the free transitions. Obviously, if you register for their Pro account, you can uh, get unlimited transitions as well as a, a greater selection. So this is a short film of mine. Um, there are two, two clips from a short film called Out of the Pages. It's a wee horror, horror short film. But what I'm actually going to do is grab... Um, I've got the composite shots here. So I'm actually going to grab and put them in like that. Just click and drag them in place. So for now, all we're going to be concerned about is a glitch transition. So I'm going to click V to disable those and put them over there for the moment. So the great thing with these particular transitions, or at least the glitch transition, um, production uh, pre-keys them, so it doesn't mean you need to key them at all. You can put them in any software. Um, and this one lines up perfectly. You just need to find the halfway point of it. As you can see, it's 21 frames. So otherwise, you can pretty much eyeball it. I'm just going to click Z to zoom in and punch in a little bit there. So yeah, so pretty much find the halfway, which is around about here. Um, if I navigate keyframes it actually looks like it starts just a tiny bit early so I'm gonna shuffle it over there and that's literally it it's really really easy and simple to use this particular transition um, you can use different blending modes to make it a little bit more interesting if you want or you can lower the opacity so that it seems like slightly less too harsh but I'm just gonna leave it for now and show you what it looks like So that's a really nice glitch transition. I actually intend on using that later on um, in one of my short films. But now we're going to do slightly more complicated transitions using some matte techniques. Alright, so I'm going to move on to our next transition. This one is a spray paint matte um, transition. So I'm going to select the clip there and then shuffle down to stencil loomer. Select that and put it over top of, um, of my clip here. And let's just zoom in. So I'm going to put it at the very start of the frame, and then at the end of the frame, I'm going to click B and cut right there so that it's the same length. So now we've got it, uh, it doing its thing. As you can see, it looks like it's spray painting along the side there. Of course, it's a dark frame to start off with. Um, then we select both clips, and then click New Compound Clip, and then I can title it whatever I want. So I'm going to title it Transition. And then what I need to do is zoom out a little bit. And then I can basically just drag this new transition clip and put it over top. So I'm just going to punch in and make sure that we've got it nicely in line there. And zoom back out and we are good to go pretty much. So I'm going to play that now. As you can see, it's a really nice little spray paint transition. It's a really cool effect. Looks like they're being painted on um, and we can do the exact same thing with this transition over here we go stencil alpha combine the clips blade to cut oops we're just one frame over I'm actually just going to shuffle that there and merge the clips put it over top and we are good to go really easy really simple and here's the triangle transition. So that's really fun to play around with. Like I said, they've got an awesome selection. Uh, all of these are free. You're allowed five downloads a day, which is an awful lot and plenty of fun. So definitely go check them out, productioncrate.com. But otherwise, guys, cheers for watching. This has been MacBrew, and I'll catch you in the next video.